This is the video for the prototype which I've developed for the GAM140 assessment. Um, this prototype is pretty much indicative of all of the stuff which I mentioned in the concept document for the game. I'm going to talk about how certain pillars are represented through the gameplay and through some of the setting as well. Once you enter the game you're placed outside of your repo van and you're meant to go inside the house to remove collateral to clear the homeowner's debt. Each item in the house has a predetermined weight and value. The player is going to find that it's not always true that the heaviest item is going to be the most valuable. For instance, the sofa, which is one of the heaviest items in this level, also happens to be one of the least valuable. On the other hand, the television's just as heavy as the sofa, but it's also one of the most valuable items in the game. And with the same principle, um, some of the lighter items also have a very high value. Having the huge variety of items with different weights and values allows for replayability, which was one of the pillars which I mentioned in the concept document. The player is also given the dossier, which they can refer to at any point in the game. Now, this is used so the player can gather useful information about the homeowner. Uh, for example, you get to learn the homeowner's shift and when he is going to return home, and this will give the player a good idea of when they should be finished by. They should relate this to the timer in the bottom left corner. Some of the information on the dossier is also quite personal to the homeowner. I included this information because I wanted the player to have a reason to question their morality, which was another a pillar which I mentioned in the concept document. Once the player finishes the level, they have the option to repeat or to quit the game. There's also a couple of systems in place for failure. 